Well, thanks for listening to this podcast from Suburban Podcasting. If you'd like to find out some more information, just type into Google Suburban FM or www.suburbanfm.com. Now, my name's Nicholas, and I'll just be running you through how to use this uh, Dim Dim or web meeting. Now, basically, what Dim Dim is, it's an open source application. It was originally open source, but since then, it's moved to being slightly more commercial. Now, it is free to use, but there's just a few limitations, like you can't actually record the classes you've done. All right, so I'll just start a new one. It's basically you log in, create an account. It gives you a little URL there for you to hand out to friends or to your people in your classes. That's my name alias right there. All right, so I'll just click on Start Now. We'll open up a new window. So you can type in Agenda, displaying how to use Dim Dim. And you can obviously invite people, but um, it's just going to be Dim, dim help. There you go. Start. Alright, just starting that now. It takes a little while to load up. You just gotta click allow on these messages. They're basically just for your web camera and microphone and other devices like that. I've got a couple of devices here. But it will automatically recognize my webcam. There I am. Okay, so when it starts up, you've got a few options. You've got a whiteboard over here and a presentation. And you've got show a web page. So let's just start with showing a web page. You just basically got to type in the address dot suburbanfm dot com. All right, just sharing that now. Whoop! Clicked on the link. Oh yes, this box pops up generally at the beginning. It just took a little while to load up. You can just have a few options. Otherwise, you can click the red X. And now this is the web page which I'm currently sharing with the people who would be learning from this, which would be students or colleagues which you want to teach a new program to. Basically, you just click around. It takes a while to load up. And on the right-hand side over here, you can also chat with different people in the classroom. So... Hi, this is Nicholas, the teacher. There you go, just sent off. All right, now I'll show you the whiteboard feature in here. This is the website there. Okay, I'll show you the whiteboard. It's just up here on the left, second link from the top. And now here's the whiteboard. Basically, you've got a few tools. You've got a pencil, you've got line tools, and you've got just plain text. Basically, let's go for a pen for now. I want to show off my writing skills. So, Nicholas, and you don't even need to take your finger off the pen. You can just click and drag the whole way. It's got interpretive text on it. It's quite clever. Now, it is a bit slow because my screen is being captured at 10 frames per second. But it does work in the end. You can set your zoom rate as well down the bottom. Well, that looks uh, pretty good to me. Just click and drag around. Now, as for a presentation, you can share PowerPoint files, PDFs, or even the 2007 format. So let's just uh, have Foundations of Education Outline. Let's just opening up, click on the Share button. It does take a little while to upload, depending on the size of the document. Yeah, it takes about 10 seconds for this one. It's not terribly big, but I'm using a bit of bandwidth at the moment. Okay, now that document is just over here on the left. It's just loading it up. All you got to do is just make sure that there is a little tick beside here, and it will display the document. Just here it is, Foundations of Education Outline. Let's click there. Loading Shared Document. And there it is. That's what the students in the class will be seeing. You've got the buttons down here to show the students. The next one. And then the other option you've got in this program, I'm not sure how well it would work because I tend to find screen captures, they're terribly slow and inefficient, but there is a screen capture setting on there. 
but in order to do that you need to install some special software which I don't have installed at the moment because I haven't restarted but I would steer away personally from showing any other recording on a screen though now sharing this menu here yeah it's just a few of my files alright now I think I've shared enough of my screen there. Back to the whiteboard. All right, now the other thing you can do is, of course, you want to be able to invite your students into the class. So you can type in their email addresses. So I could type in my JCU one. All right, then I can click local email. I just open it up in, in my Outlook there. Put my signature in. Send it from an account. And that's sending off. And then they'll get an email and there'll be a link in there. Once they click on that link, it'll open up a web meeting just like this. And they'll be able to see what I'm teaching them. Well, thanks for watching there. And if you'd like to find out some more information there, just jump online to www.suburbanfm.com.